Hi, I'm Yves from Munich Icons, and today I'm going to do some work on a BMW 2002 TII. I had the injection pump overhauled before. I already put it back on the engine, and now it's time to make some adjustments and make it road ready again. Okay, so we are uh, right next to the car. As you can clearly see, it has the round rear taillights typical for the phase one car it's in pretty good shape it wasn't restored it has a nice wooden steering wheel it still has the original interior the seats well they don't age so well so whatever was inside isn't there anymore i think we need to address that at a later date but uh, today as i already said i'm going to work on the ejection So this is the engine, the injection pump was overhauled by a German company uh, and also the injectors they were checked and uh, put back to original spec so all of this I had removed in the past and this is already back in the engine now so we are ready to do some basic tuning to get everything working as it's supposed to be get the uh, emissions right get the idle right and another uh, another bunch of small stuff so with some more lights over the engine i hope you can see a little bit more clear now but the first thing i'm going to do is to check the length of this rod connected to the injection pump and then once this one is checked and set i'm going to check the second one going to the accelerator pedal so this is what we are going to do first so the setting of the rods is completely finished i have put them back in place that's the one on the pump, it's exactly 85 millimeters long. And then the second one is attached uh, between the actual mechanism for the accelerator pedal. So both are correctly set and it's now time to do some adjustments on the throttle valve. For this I will need some small tools. This is something that I have made. It's made of a five millimeter drill and it will serve to hold the pump in one pos position. And then the other side, we need the hole in the throttle body. And for this, I'm using a four millimeter drill to put in the hole. And then that way I can actually put that lever behind it and set everything to its preliminary setting as it's supposed to be. adjustments being made it is now time to start up the engine and let it run for a couple of minutes until it is fully warmed up and then we need to check the CO readings with my digital for gas analyzer The engine is fully warm now, as you can see, and I have already made the final adjustments about the CO settings and idle. My four gas analyzer needs 2.6 
percent CO, which is spot on. I would say factory settings are to be between two and three percent. Going to give the engine some rest now. Stable on higher RPM, she comes back nicely to her idle and stays there, so uh, I would say uh, good job and now it's time to put back the air filter and some smaller stuff and finish this car and get her ready for the little thing somewhere. I'm in the car right now, she's all warmed up and ready to have a go. Let's see how she performs on the road. that was it for today I just made the final test drive the car performed well it had decent performance the power was there the idle is stable the engine is running smooth it's exactly as a classic 2002 is supposed to drive I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did today uh, my apologies for the bad sound at moments um, I'm not a professional video maker sorry for that but anyhow I hope to see you real soon for a next video of Munich Icons. Thank you.